Hi, this is Golf Operator Magazine. It is Saturday, November 23rd, 2013. And today I would like to do a video explaining how the Course Trends remarketing is being used and how if your property is being remarketed in this particular way, it is extremely bad for your property. So uh, the first thing I would like to do is I would like to pull up the email that we received a copy of that says, we have no intent of marketing competitive tee times to a courses visitor. For example, if you engage in the service, we'd only market your tee times to your course visitors. Uh, once again, Course Trends said, if you engage in the service, we'd only market your tee times to your course visitors. So what I'd like to do is I would like to run a test to show you how this remarketing is actually working on some different course trends websites that we found this particular piece of code on. Um, Critio, which is the website we're viewing right now, is a website that specializes in remarketing and pay-per-click campaigns and stuff like that. Um, as you can see right now, this website is saying, we are not currently being targeted by Critio. Um, and we can actually do a test with this web page to see how a website that is using Critio services, actually what, what banners they're gonna be displaying and stuff like that. So the first website I'm going to pull up is wendellcc.com. So let's go ahead and pull this up. Uh, you can see right now it's powered by Course Trends. Um, we're gonna go ahead and let's view the source on this. And we're going to scroll to the bottom of the source and we can see this Critio code right here. So this references this Critio website right here. Um, you can also see this code right here is referencing the Golf 18 network. So let's go ahead and see what happens if I go back to this website and I refresh this page. And now we are seeing the banner ads that are being displayed to my browser because I visited the Wendell Country Club website. Uh, as you can see, these banner ads are for the Golf 18 network, not Wendell Country Club. Um, you can see that it has competitive cor courses in here, so we, or excuse me, different courses in here. So and not only are they displaying ads for Wendell Country Club, they're showing ads for Reedy Creek Golf Course, the River Golf and Country Club, uh, Logan's Family, Run Family Golf Club, um, Shadow Glen Golf Club, um, Pine Hollow Golf Club, Logan's again, Shadow Glen Golf Club again. So there is only one ad, or excuse me, two ads in here that are actually displaying anything for Wendell Country Club. Um, but these ads are also showing different courses. So just to show you how this works again, we're going to go ahead and we are going to clear my history. And as you can see, when I refresh this page, I now have default ads in here. I'm not being remarketed to anything right now. So let's go back to Wendell Country Club. And as you can see, it's wendellcc.com. And let's refresh this page. So now the page has been refreshed. And if I go back to this Critio website and I refresh this page, it should display the ads again. And once again, we are being displayed ads for the Golf 18 network, not Wendell Country Club. Um, the River Golfing Country Club is in here. Pine Hollow Golf Club is in here. Uh, Reedy Creek Golf Course is in here. And as you can see, there's all types of banner ads in here for the Golf 18 Network that are not specifically for the Wendell Country Club website, even though they said if a course was participating in this type of marketing, they would only specifically target ads for their course. So let's do another example. Let's uh, go ahead and close these and we're going to go ahead and we're going to clear out my browser history once again. And I'm going to refresh this page now that I've cleared it and it should have removed the cookies, which it did. So now we are being displayed default banner ads that they have programmed in here for this website. So let's visit another website. We're going to go to quailcreek-cc.com. And once again, on quailcreek-cc.com, you can see it's powered by Course Trends. And let's view the source code here. 
Um, at the bottom of the source code for quailcreek-cc.com, you can see the same Critio code here. And it's also referencing the Golf 18 network. So now that we have gone to that page, let's see what kind of ads we're going to be displayed. We are being displayed ads for Gray Rock Golf Club, Stonegate Golf Course. Here's Quail Creek. Um, on this particular ad, it's showing that we're being going to be remarketed for Stonegate Golf Course, another property, Quail Creek again. And then on this particular banner ad, there is two Quail Creeks and Stonegate Golf Course again. So um, let me show you that one more time just so you can uh, try to do this if you want to. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to clear my history. We're going to go back to this page and we're going to refresh it. And you can see I'm not being targeted. And let's go to this quailcreek-cc.com website again. And we're going to refresh it. So now that cookie should be activated in my browser again. So if I go back to this Critio web page and refresh it, I can now see the ads that are being displayed again. So these ads are for the Golf 18 network. They are not specifically for Quail Creek, even though that's what people are being told. That's how it works. And that's why this is such a big deal. Um, we would really like to know what you think about this. Uh, how, you, how do you feel about your property being remarketed to against your competitors or against different courses? How do you feel about your web track being marketed to for just the Golf 18 network, even though the response was, that's not what we're doing? So uh, please email us at editor at golfoperatormagazine.com or go to our Facebook page and leave us some comments or ask us some questions there. Um, we'd be more than happy to help you find out if you had this code on your website uh, now or even if it was in the past. Um, we've been able to identify a, a lot of pieces of code using the Google Cache. So uh, once again, if you have any questions, let us know. And thank you. Have a good weekend.